it's Saturday morning. It's a good time for a video. I'm about to show you my tarp train. Um, so this is my number seven engine <coughs> that we're gonna get started here. Of course, you gotta have a nice whistle before you get going. And you're seeing my first uh, engine with a tarp right in front of the steam donkey, followed by the car that we'll be talking about and making. It has an automobile and a bunch of stuff in it in front. Then an automobile with an inmate <laughs> who has escaped as an homage to O Brother Where Art Thou. And here is my train as it's going across my bridge and <clears throat> onto the rest of the layout eventually. All right, let's get going with how to make this car that's going right behind the water tower, right there. Well, you saw my model train uh, flat car that's running with two tarps on them. And I was going to show you how I made those. The first, here's the, the bits and pieces you're going to need. The first thing is, of course, you need a flat car. This, uh, I'm doing ON30, so this is a flat car from uh, Bachman, and I've just weathered it. And there's a video on how to I do my weathering, and there's tons of video on how to do that kind of weathering. Um, you're going to need some balsa, uh, just square piece, and you'll see why where it, where it, uh, it helps. I then used this uh, yesteryear car. These are uh, matchbox. Uh, there, I bought these in England, oddly enough. So all of the the, the steering wheels are in the uh, on the uh, well, the wrong side of the, <laughs> the car, and um, it's a broken up piece. I, I bought it in a secondhand store. It's got bits and pieces that are missing, um, and I'm going to use all of that. Um, I just don't, you know, there's no good way to use this. It's all broken up. So I will use it in this flat car and then put a tarp on it. <clears throat> um, the other thing that I, I got this big block of uh, styrofoam and then I just broke it into little, you know, just to use the saw and then broke it up into little bits and pieces, uh, just like this. Um, the uh, other thing that you will need is white, white glue. Um, just use this and I mix a half and half mixture of white glue and, and uh, um, uh, water uh, Kleenex. Uh, it doesn't have structure in it. It doesn't have these little uh, little bumps in it, but that all disappear once we uh, use the, 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 the paint. Of course, <coughs> you need scissors. <laughs> you will also need um, a good good um, a piece of uh, paper of uh, newspaper to absorb all of the moisture all right so here's how all the bits and pieces come together before i start tarping i put the balsa as you can see right there uh, to use as a stop for the car you don't really need it because you're going to glue the i super glued the car onto the flatbed right but when you put the tarp on it, it's going to give a little bit of a shape to this. That's going to make it look like it's uh, it has some some stops, which you might see. And then here you can see all the bits and pieces of um, <coughs> styrofoam that I just glued at random, uh, mostly, and and that's okay. You know, it's um, I'm I'm going to want to put a little indentation in the tarp right here, and I'm going to want the tarp to. Uh, go over the edge here um, and I just want it to be very random looking there's some people who really like neat <laughs> tidy tarps I just not I, I, that's not really what I want to achieve in my uh, in my uh, layout now for the car and the balsa I use super glue and of course for the styrofoam I just use wood glue <laughs> uh, the super glue would just uh, vaporize the, the the balsa so not too complicated um, I, and I did that last night. It took about five minutes to put all of those bits and pieces together. So the first thing you do is we're going to first do the car, right? We're going to do the, the, the automobile part. And what I should mention is it, it was broken, right? So it, it has this seat 
and I just trimmed the seat a little bit and made it look a little bit broken. I, I will paint this to make it look old and worn, but I'm gonna put it on top of the tarp just as a bit and piece that's being carried with the car, right? And because of the way we're gonna do this, you're going to see these well well, so it's very cool. All right, first thing you gotta do is take your, your, your um, tissue paper, put it over the car roughly, and we're gonna just cut um, with scissors a, a piece that is going to roughly fit. Uh, it doesn't have to be very big and it doesn't have to be very accurate. The reason for that is because as we're putting the tarp on, we will um, uh, uh, mush it into the right places. And now that I've done this, I realize that it's too small and that happens to me a lot. <laughs> so I will <clears throat> redo this again using a, a bigger, uh, obviously a bigger piece this time. And um, that way I can really, really, really just soak it up. And, you know, I'm just, um, and it's okay, you know, Kleenex is, <laughs> and you can use these things, uh, the, the scrap many, many times. So, all right, so roughly I'm putting, and you can see, very badly cut. Right, and that's, that's good, that's just fine. So I'm gonna just put this over the car in uh, sort of a, so like this, put it into this gap, and you know, it's just kind of messy. Now, just getting big, big uh, brush, and I'm going to just dip it into, and I'm just gonna wet this. Right, the first effort, and it doesn't want to stick because it's uh, it's still springy. But the more glue, the more wet it gets, the better it is. I've thought about pre-wetting these things beforehand, and then um, 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 then trying to put it on here. Not all that successful. And you can see, you know, I'm just I'm just as I'm wetting it. I'm pushing it into the wheel well, right? And I'm pushing it into these gaps. And all of those folds are just really, really wonderful to have, right? And um, the nice thing, and I'm gonna do it on this side now, and you can see it's, it's just really very messy. And that's, that's all okay, right? And I'm gonna do these one tarp at a time. And you can see right here, I'm going over the edge uh, of the flat car. And I'm gonna uh, fold all of this extra stuff as if it uh, was really part of the tarp. And, you know, just making it uh, just stick out all over the place. And you can see it's already taking a very nice shape. And now I can start trying to put indentations to mimic where the car is. If you push too hard, you're going to rip it, right? And that's okay, you know why? Because you've got scrap. <laughs> and you're gonna use that scrap to, just like right here, I had that, uh, that extra stuff. And I'm just gonna put an extra piece right there, put more glue, and just uh, tap it down. And you'll never, ever, ever be able to, uh, to, to see the difference, right? I really do want the wheel well to show um, so I'm putting a little more uh, glue and water so that it really has that, uh, that opportunity. And you can see right here, right, the, 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 that uh, wood piece is sticking out. So it makes it a nice little detail. And now, as you can see, all this is is just a question of uh, letting it dry. All right, I'm going to do exactly the same thing on top of this. I'm going to let it dry overnight, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. It is now the next morning, and I've let this dry. Here is what it looks like, um, and we're going to go through the things that we need to use. So again, our newspaper, here's our thing that has dried. Choosing paints um, that are going to be the two tarp colors. I don't often use <clears throat> such a um, bright paint because I want my tarps to be um, to be to look like they're faded, which is why I use sort of these faded kinds of greens or a faded white uh, or something like that. 
Um, but I'm going to be very light on this color. I'm really interested in seeing what it looks like. And then, of course, <coughs> um, a little bit of water. And I always keep a little bit of this very dirty water from lots of paint washes uh, to do this because it just naturally, as I use the paint and this water, it just adds to the, um, to the aging uh, of the tarps. And then, of course, the last thing, uh, very importantly, coffee. <laughs> All right, um, here's smaller paintbrush, not as big as the last one, <clears throat> and just shake up my, my paint. Here's how I do it. I, I, by shaking it up, there's some that goes up, up in here, and I use lots and lots of water, right? And <clears throat> oh, before I go too far, um, it should have that transparent look uh, when it's dry. So it may look wrong to you when you do that, but uh, if, you, <laughs> if it looks wrong, it's probably right uh, in terms of making things look realistic and aged. And you can even see the, the stuff that's down here uh, almost disappears. And we'll have to make sure to put paint where all of the paper has gone, right? And it will absorb it very, very nicely. Again, this is a process that, you know, just takes, uh, so I'm just gonna dip lots of water, lots and lots of dirty water, just a tiny amount more water, and then I'm gonna pick this one to be all right, uh, to be this, um, eh, no, you know, I'll pick a car, all right? And you can see as it's going on, it's, it's just mostly water. Right, it's not uh, not 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 much of anything, and <clears throat> I'm just gonna go around um, everywhere, in every nook and cranny, dirty water, um, and not a lot of paint. Right, I mean you can see, um, I've you know I'm just watering this down. All right. Now, it's been a couple hours and the paint has dried. Now, what you didn't see is that um, there were some places in here I didn't like. Uh, an example was in here, the, um, the, the tissue had touching the surface and was hugging it such that there was no tension like this. And it, it just looked wrong. It looked like a, basically a Speedo that was you know, really pressed down onto the car. And that, that's just not the way that a tarp looks. Now the rest I was pretty happy with, right? So I, it had nice details, uh, nice folds and so on. I just took a tiny little piece of, uh, of tissue, put it back here, wet it down, put a little bit of paint on it. And then I also had a rip back here. And I took care of that rip by just exactly the same thing, just putting another piece of tissue down and then just um, uh, painting it just a little bit of green. Now, <clears throat> we're ready for the second coat. And what you can see is what I don't want to have is the green of the car coming through and or the blue of the, um, of the styrofoam coming through. So I'm going to go back All right, um, now it's just a question of doing what we did before, just waiting until it dries. <clears throat> and then we'll put a little thin, thin coat of some darkening agent to make them look really old. Potentially we'll try with uh, tie down stuff, but uh, you can see it's effectively almost done. We're now at the very last step um, of making these tarps look older, right? It's all dry, it's nice and stiff. The None of the colors of the styrofoam or the automobile are coming through anywhere. Um, now I can, could use, here's my dirty water, um, you know, just scrape the bottom and just, you know, put, and you can see it has some of these um, changes the colors some at some level, and that's okay. Um, it'll work. It'll be a very light, it'll make it look a little bit um, aged. 
The other option is to use this aging solution, which is actually shoe polish and al um, alcohol um, <clears throat> that I just uh, mixed together. And I just, you know, just drop it um, oddly, you know, in different ways. But um, lots of water, right? We want, uh, and you can see, I'm, I'm just letting it uh, go into the crevices everywhere. Um, you know, that's the that's the way to, to age this thing is to just and when it dries is uh, what you saw the final product in uh, in the train layout uh, when we ran this car the first uh, the first time um, so not not particularly complicated overall um, and I'm almost done with this part I will do the other the other um, and, but you saw it already so it's all uh, all good. If I um, wanted to have a different uh, different look here, I could use um, brown shoe polish. Um, that's it's, it's a little lighter and looks looks just fine as well. Now the other thing I'll want to do, and you'll see, is I want to tie it down, make it look like this load right here is tied down, and I just use a uh, thread that. Um, Sewing for thread. Now I happen to have gotten this this from a place that had gone out of business, and it's uh, for professional machines. <laughs> so they use a lot of thread. So I have more threads uh, for a lifetime here, um, and I just cut a couple to size right here, and I will use super glues in these little eyelets uh, that are right here, and I'm going to go across. In both directions and that's what you saw on the um, the running cars all right try it out have fun tarp lots and lots of